Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember class that having knowledge is having a power. Today class, we were going to discuss about the interaction of objects to light and heat. Last meeting, we discussed about heat and electricity on how do they react on a certain materials or object. This time, you are going to identify the pictures whether these materials are conductor of heat and electricity or an insulator. So for our number one. Very good. This is insulator. Okay, let's proceed to number two. Excellent. This is a conductor. Next picture. Very good. This is a conductor. Next, number four. Yes, this is an insulator. And the last number. Very good. This is an insulator. But my question now is, what do we know about light? We know that light is something that we can see. It gives color and beauty in our lives. Learning about the behavior or properties of light is not only fun, but our knowledge about light can also help us create many things that will benefit the society. In this lesson, we will explore how light behaves and observe its effects on objects. So at the end of this lesson, you are going to relate the ability of a material to block, absorb, or transmit light for use and identify the effects of light on people and materials. Now, I will be presenting pictures. And I want you to study each pictures. We have sunlight, we have light bulb, and we have flashlight. Do you think these materials is important to us? Yes, it is really important and plays a vital role in us. Can you imagine your surroundings without light at all? Or when there is a brownout? or a power interruption in our place. Isn't it that it's dark and it's very hot? These are common expressions that you say or hear from people when there is a brown out. So in situations like this class, you are in need of heat and light energy. You need light to see things around you so you can move safely and do what you want to do because your eyes are useless without light. But what do we really know about light? Light comes from luminous sources like the sun, stars, and burning fuels. The sunlight is the greatest source of light on Earth. It reaches the Earth in about 8 minutes at the speed of 300,000 km per second by electromagnetic radiation. And did you know that scientists believe that light is a form of electromagnetic waves and particles that helps our eyes to see things around us by reflection? And aside from that, the visible light or the solar spectrum is the light that visible to the human eye. It is composed of a seven band of colors which is commonly called the rainbow colors 
we have the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, and the violet. We're in, nung kayo pa ay nasa lower grade, pinaparecite ni teacher yung code name ng rainbow which is the Roy Jibib. So this time class, let's understand further the concept of light. We have to study how interact with different objects or materials. And do you know that this branch of science is called optics? Optics is the study of light that can be in the process of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. First on the line is what you call refraction. Refraction refers to the bending of lights as it passes through different materials. Look at that example class. Why is it that the pencil inside the glass of water appears bent? What is the reason? Because, because of the different parts of the materials interacting it. Just like yung straw or yung pencil, nag-interact siya with the air. While yung nakadip, yung pencil o kaya yung straw dyan, is interact with the water. So that is why it appears na um, baluktot or nag slant or nagbent yung pencil number two reflection reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object look at this examples class yung taong nananalamin at saka yung view at my bodies of water isn't it that the image of something as are reflected by a mirror so that is what you called reflection. Next, number two is what you called absorption. Absorption refers to the materials taking in of light and not reflecting it back. Just like the examples of that. All colors are absorbed by the black. So that is absorption. When you see light it strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected on it. Ibig sabihin, kinaabsorb niya lahat, kinukuha niya lahat. That is in the color of black which is absorption. Next one is what you call transmission. What is this transmission all about? Transmission refers to the passing of light through some materials just like these examples so ibig sabihin lahat ng mga tumatagos light that is transmitted through a certain objects or materials that is what you call transmission this means in other words rather that we can clearly see through them that is transmission so let's now move to the ways in transmitting light. This is how the light interacts with the certain objects or materials. For number one, we have transparent. When we say transparent, objects that allow all the light to pass through them. Just like for example, pag meron tayong flashlight. So kapag sinindi mo yung flashlight, at nag-reflect doon sa kabila, nag-pass yung light, that is what you call transparent. In other words, we can clearly see through them or nakikita natin kung ano yung nasa kabilang dimension. The examples of transparent are the following. We have spectacles or the sunglasses. We have cellophane. We have contact lenses, we have clear window, and we have aquarium. Next in line is translucent. Translucent are objects that allows only some light to pass through them. Just like this example, take note of that, some light. This means class that we can partially see the objects or the materials where the light is transmitted. 
The examples of translucent are the following. We have wax paper, frosted glass or tinted window, glass containing a colored liquid. That is translucent. Number three in line is what you called opaque. Opaque are objects that do not allow any light to pass through them. So, ibig sabihin, there is no light passes through. In other words, we cannot see the materials when lighted. The examples are wooden door or window. We have ceramics or tiles. We have porcelain or aluminum. And we have styrofoam. So those are examples of what you called opaque. So let's now proceed to the effects of light and heat to people and materials on earth. They can be useful in the following ways or they can also be harmful in many ways. Number one is light is important in the photosynthesis of plants. Bakit? Kasi the green leaves of plants nagre-react to the sunlight para makapag-produce siya ng food. Kasi kung wala yung plants, of course, people and animals will go hungry if plants cannot make their own food. So number two is sunlight is important to your health. O bakit daw? As we know that sunlight is the source of vitamin D. It may protect you from suffering health disorders such as rickets or increased bone fractures. Next good effect is light from electricity provides us the lighting of our homes and use of electronic devices and other products of technology. Tulad na lang yung ginagamit ng mga ibang mga mayayaman. They have this what you call solar panel na kahit hindi sila gumagamit ng electricity, they make use of their solars para doon na kumuha ng tinatawag na light. That is because of the sunlight. Next, number three, good effects is what you called light in the form of ultraviolet rays is used in scanners and medical equipment. Isn't it na itong mga equipments na ito ay napapabilis at napapagaan ang treatment ng mga sakit. Another good effects is that heat is needed in the germination of seeds to grow seedlings for reproduction of species. It's not only in the plants class but also in the animals just like yung mga itlog. 'Di ba? Yung mga itlog kailangan meron tayong tinatawag na bulb, light bulb para maging warm yung kanilang bodies in order to hatch their eggs. So another one is what you called heat is important in cooking our food and makes them digestible for the body. Oh, isn't it that yung heat Kapag tayo ay nagluluto, para maluto yung ating kinakain, we make use of this what you called heat. At para din makil yung mga microorganisms doon sa pagkain at doon sa tubig. And the last one good effects of heat is that heat is an important factor in the changes of weather on earth. Why? Because, for example, we are in cold or malamig ang panahon. Isn't it that heat that comes from the sun, siya yung nagwa-warm sa atin. So those are the good effects of heat and light to people and materials on earth. So let's now proceed to the harmful effects of heat and light to people and materials. So number one, bad effects is what you call too much exposure to heat and light of the sun may cause sunburn, skin cancer, freckles, and premature aging of the skin. So kung napapansin nyo kapag kayo ay naliligo sa mga beach, after nyong, after nyong lumusong ng around 2 hours and more, after that, 
meron ng makikitang outcome, meron ng tinatawag na sunburn, and that is bad to our skin. It is good that we can apply what you call yung sunblock, yung mataas, yung mga SPF, in order for our skin to be protected. Number two is that too much heat may lead to heat stroke and cause forest fire. Lagi-lagi ito na i-experience ng mga matatanda na kapag mainit ang panahon, ang tendency is maraming na i-stroke at marami rin na ibabalita sa television na mostly sa mga mainit na lugar na there is what you called a forest fire. Number three harmful effect is that too much exposure to light is damaging to the retina of the eyes that may lead to loss of vision. So tulad na lang ng sinasabi lagi ng ating mga magulang na when we are using our gadgets, our phones and cell phones, laptops, kailangan maghinay-hinay. Kailangan merong time sa pag um, pag-use ng mga ng mga gadget kasi nakakasira ito sa ating mga mata. Okay, so number four, bad effects or harmful effects is that too much heat can lead to drought and food shortage. So kapag matindi or malakas yung sikat ng araw, ang tendency is magkakaroon ng drought. So pag nagkaroon ng drought, magkakaroon tayo ng shortage ng pagkain kasi nga hindi tayo makakatanim ng ating mga produkto. And the last one, harmful effects, is that too much heat and light can cause big fire that can damage the life and property. So that's are the harmful effects of heat and light to people and to the materials on earth. This time, let us now enrich what you have learned for today. All you have to do is to answer the following question. 